Hey there guys, this is Ricky Tran with Cutlery and More and today we are going to go through every single Vostov set of knives. It is a very impressive line of knives here as you can see. So let's look at the lineup of knives we have here today. We have the Classic, we have the Icon Series, we have the Epicure, the Culinar, the Grand Prix, the Gourmet, and the Professional lineup of knives. Uh, all these knives cater to a very different crowd. They're all very special in their own way. So I'm going to do my best today to kind of break down the differences for you and the similarities. Hopefully it will make it easier for you to choose between the next set of Vosov that you actually want to pick up. So in my attempt to take the confusion out of today's review, I'm going to show you guys only the cook's version of each set of knives. So the first line of knives that we're going to look at is the classic. This line of knives here is what you guys all know Vosov for. This is the most widely available and largest selection of Wurstock knives available. Now if we look at the profile of this knife, you see a very classic German style belly for a cook's knife. Definitely a great rocker on the cutting board. There's one thing that you need to know about all Wurstock knives. All of them are made from the same great German steel. It's the X50 CR MO V15 German made steel. Now this steel company sells exclusively to Wurstoff and they are the very best at what they do. And so you can be assured that every single Wurstoff knife uses the best German steel available. Now all of the Wurstoff that we have today with the forged blades are using P-Tech technology. That is precision edge technology exclusively for Wurstoffs. Now without getting too technical, it's basically a state of the art computer precision laser guided sharpening system where they use lasers to actually measure the precise angle at which every single blade is to be sharpened at and then they use precision robotic arms to actually sharpen every single knife with a whetstone. All you need to know as a customer is that every single Wurstoff is going to come out of the factory as sharp as possible. So now let's go back to the Wurstoff Classic. This knife here has a very nicely polished spine as well as a bolster. We have a full bolster here which gives you a lot of control in your pinch grip as well as giving the knife a lot of stability when holding it in a butcher style grip. Now coming down to the handle, this is definitely one of the most classic style handles that you'll find on German knives. Very, very comfortable, very hefty and girthy, but also very well sculpted. All of the corners are properly shaved, sculpted, shaped, so that you have the most comfortable handles that you can possibly get. Now if we look at the polish of this knife, we can see that the polish on the blade, the bolster, the spine, the tang, and the stainless steel rivets are all the exact same satin finish. Very beautiful, very consistent. Now the classic line of knives is using Wurstoff's Precision Edge technology, which gives you a 14 degree cut angle on each side, giving you a total of 28 degrees of cut angle. 20 degrees for a cutting angle is extremely narrow. That will give you the performance and precision that you are looking for in a good quality knife. So now we have the Icon line of knives. What I have here in my hand is the classic Icon. Now this knife here, I'm going to show you guys the difference between this and the classic. Now if we look here, you can see that both knives have the exact same cutting profile, that same great classic profile that Wurstoffs are known for, but the Icon have removed the full bolster as well as it has a reshaped handle. So here are two main benefits for the end user in terms of removing the full bolster. First, it gives you the ability to hand sharpen the knife at the heel. Now that is not absolutely crucial to have a good performing knife, but some people simply love to sharpen their knives at the heel, so Vostov made a line of knives to cater to that crowd. Now the second major benefit of removing the full bolster is now the blade portion of the knife is lighter, giving you a slightly more nimble of a knife. Now if we look at the handle, you can see that it's using the same material as the classic lineup. It's got the triple stainless steel rivet, as well as the palm material. So again, it's stain resistant, heat resistant, and crack resistant. Very great material there. Now in terms of the polish of the knife, you can see that the same satin polish is utilized on the blade, the spine, the ferrule of the knife, and the tang, as well as the stainless steel end cap, which gives you a very good balance and very good heft to the handle when you're holding it. Next, we have the Wurstoff Icon Blackwood Edition. It's essentially the classic icon with one major difference, and that is it now uses a black African hardwood. Now, in terms of appearance, this gives the knife a much more elegant and upscale look. However, in terms of user experience, it gives this knife a much better tactile feel, gives you better feedback when you're holding the knife, and also gives you a much more comfortable, warm grip. It is a fantastic material to use as your knife's handle. And also, the polish is a satin finish. It is beautifully done. There is no gap anywhere on this knife. 
The wood is completely sealed off from the exterior, so keeping it watertight as well as stain resistant. Now coming to the blade, you see that you have the same great profile as well as the same great German steel, heat treated to a 58 on the Rockwell scale. You have the same great shape for the handle, except utilizing the much more elegant look of the African wood. The Icon series of knives take all of the great qualities from the classic Icon, but upping the notch in terms of its elegance and beauty. Now lastly, in the Icon family, we have the classic Icon with the cream handle. This series of knives is the exact same replica in terms of overall dimensions, specs as the classic Icon. Now the cream handles are made exclusively for cutlery and mortar. If we look at the profiles here, you can see that the white icons have the exact same cutting profile as the other two knives, and we have the exact same shape and sculptedness of the handle. The only differences between these three knives are their handles. Now if we add in the classic knives, you can see here the cutting profiles are essentially the same, but the classic knife has a full bolster and has a different sculpted handle. Now we have the Epicure. The Epicure is Vosov's newest line of knives. It is stunningly made. These knives are absolutely beautiful. The Epicure uses the same great high carbon German stainless steel as the Icon and Classic line of knives. Now if we look at the Epicure's profile, we see that the bolster is back, as well as the belly is a little bit more pronounced than the other line of knives that we have just looked at. Now coming down to the handle, we see a very big departure from Vosov's previous line of knives. This here uses a composite wood for the handle, very highly sculptable as well as renewable. This is a fantastic line of knives for those who want to buy a knife that has the same great qualities of your classic Vostovs, but having a renewable source for your handles. Now coming down to the construction of the handle, we see a double stainless steel rivet versus a triple style rivet. And the sculpted handle is extremely, extremely comfortable. So now we have the Icon, Classic, and Epicure next to each other. You can see that the cutting profile of the Epicure slightly more closely resembles the Classic with a slightly larger belly. Coming down the blade, we see that the Epicure has a full bolster like the Classic. The Icon has no bolster. And coming down further to the handle, you can see the sculptness of the handle of the Epicure is more closely related to the Icon versus the Classic. Next, we have the Culinar. This line of knives is made exclusively for cutlery and more by Vostov. It utilizes the same great profile and blade as the Classic. However, it has a stainless steel version of the same great shape of the Icon's handle. So the QNR really checks off all of the boxes and really taking the blend of all of the best of Wustoff has to offer at this point, putting it into a stainless steel package. That's something that you really cannot find in any other knife at this point. It's a fantastic line of knives. I really enjoy the cutting profile of the classic, but I really like the sculptedness of the icon and giving it all to me in a stainless steel package is fantastic. Now, if we look at the construction of the handle on the QNR, you can see that it's a single molded shaped piece of steel and there is a singular joint at where the blade and the handle meets. It is an exquisite piece of art. Now lastly but not least in the forged knives lineup we have the Grand Prix. The Grand Prix is your entry level knife for Vostov in terms of getting into the forged line of knives. Now for the Grand Prix we have the same cutting profile and blade type as the Culinar and the Classic. Now if we come down to the handle of the Grand Prix, we can see that it has a very similar shape to the Icon and the Culinar, but instead of utilizing a stainless design or a polyoxymethylene, we are using a polyresin material, which gives you a very high quality finish as well as a good tactile feel when you're using this knife. So now we're gonna spend a couple of minutes and look at the Vostov Stamped Knives. So first off is the Gourmet. The Gourmet is very similar in terms of overall profile to the Icon and the Classic, but with no bolster at all. You can usually tell when a knife is stamped by simply tapping it. You can hear that it's very, very hollow and slightly non-reactive versus the nice ping of a forged knife. Stamped knives are lighter and less substantial than forged knives. Other thing is, if you look at the handle of this one, this utilizes a, also a poly resin handle, which is more or less a plastic handle and it is shaped very similar to the classic in terms of its overall handle shape. So you can see that this knife has a partial tang. So the tang doesn't go all the way through to the front of the knife versus on the classic, you can see the tang comes all the way through the front and the back of the knife. So automatically when we hear professional or pro, we think that it must be the best knife out there. 
Not so in this case, this is Wusthof's most affordable line of knives. The Pro line of knives are made for people who work in a kitchen environment where they are cutting all day long and so they're wearing gloves mostly and so the stickiness, the tactileness of the handle, that's why you have a very very grippy handle on the Pro line of knives. Now in terms of the steel also, it is a stamped steel. In my opinion, they're really made for students who are just graduating culinary school and don't have a whole lot of budget to buy a knife. They're fine knives, they'll perform well enough. They don't give you the same quality of cut and they don't give the same quality and the pleasure of use as their higher end knives. If you are still with me now, we're gonna go over the knives one more time, just so we can clear any sort of confusion on these knives. So first we have the classic, which is the classic line of knives. It is the first knife that Vostov designed and this knife design has been around for as long as Vostov has been. It's a full bolstered knife with the classic style handle. Next, we have the Epicure, which has a very similar profile as the Classic, but it has a slightly reshaped belly with a more pronounced belly, as well as a composite handle. Next is the Icon line of knives. The Icons are essentially one knife with three different handle choices. You have the Classic with the Black, we have the African with the African hardwood, and then we have the Cream Classic, which is the white and is also made exclusively for cutlery and more. It also has the same cutting profile as a Classic, but has a bolsterless design. Next, we have the Culinar, which is the same blade as the Classic, but with the stainless steel version of the Icon's handle. Next, we have the Grand Prix, which uses the same blade as the Culinar, but without the stainless design of the handle, and it uses the polymer handle. Next, we have the Gourmet, which has the same shape for the blade and handle of the Classic, but uses a polymer handle and a stamped steel for the blade. Lastly, we have the Pro, which utilizes a rubberized textured handle for use in professional kitchens, as well as a stamped steel blade construction. If you have any questions regarding any of these knives today, please hop over to our website at cutlerymore.com. We'll have great customer service reps that will answer all your questions. If you have any questions for our YouTube team, please leave a comment. We definitely will get back to you as soon as we can. Thank you for being here, and we'll catch you guys in the next video.